All right, so we're checking out the only game that literally every single YouTuber is playing. It's Minecraft. I don't wanna play the game, I just wanna break the game. Break game, damn it. I had never played Minecraft before at all. So I did what pretty much everyone does, and I looked up a bunch of Minecraft tutorials. I've got some things installed, but I don't really know what they are. Basically, the way I did it is every single download link that everyone fed me in every tutorial, I just clicked on all of them. I feel like all the tutorials were pretty legit. They basically all went like this. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy here, Pig Penis, coming at you with another Minecraft tutorial. So yeah, I don't know. I mean, if this gameplay gets cut halfway through and then my computer gets reformatted and everything gets replaced with hentai wallpapers, then I, I guess we'll, we'll know not to click on that kind of stuff. I know everyone makes sure to get their own personal skin in Minecraft, so I downloaded one. It's Nicolas Cage's face. I really like it because it's just his face. So it's like we skinned his face and then we're wearing it but we're a really small person. We're like the smallest Texas Chainsaw Massacre guy that there is. Like a little pixie murderer wearing his face like a cloak. I love you, Nicolas Cage. Let's burn down Minecraft together. So first things first, uh, I basically wanna make the game as unplayable as possible and then break it repeatedly. In order to do this, I luckily have a friend He's Scottish and he was like, I'll help you great. Just imagine that there's like a Scottish accent though when, when he said that. So one of the things that you can do is summon a little fireball here. It can cause some fire, but honestly, that's rookie crap. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my buddy's numbers and we're gonna do what we do in this channel and add a lot of zeros until my finger gets tired. Power one, power a lot. I'm sorry, Minecraft. Some people just wanna watch the world burn. See you in hell. Wow, broke the game first try. Okay, maybe a few less zeros. Okay, apparently one billion is way too much. How about a hundred? Maybe, maybe that won't be that bad. Please light this place ablaze. Oh, Jesus. I didn't know. Apparently Minecraft is very, very flammable. <laughs> Nicholas Cage be like, only you can initiate forest fires. In the land of Minecraft, an angry Nicholas Cage rains fire down upon the populace. Maybe we can add some more zeros finally. Okay, never mind. That was plenty of fire to make the game completely unplayable. Next attempt. I'm gonna get used to seeing this screen a lot. Let's go ahead and make infinite sheep or something. This is one of those things that I never knew I wanted until today. Mmm. Begin the sheep spawning, damn it. I need something to slay. And on a on a side note, if you guys like veal, um, you can jump in there and start beating that sheep meat. Man, I never thought that watching a block urinate out a constant stream of sheep would be so fulfilling. <laughs> Hold on, I need this block to be levitating in the air. Before that though, Nicolas Cage must show all the sheep his displeasure for failing him as their lord. May God have mercy on your souls. This poor lamb over here is like, where's mommy? Mommy's over here floating on top of the water, my little sheeplet. The best part is, is that the sheep are still being infinitely spawned. So it's like a little sheep waterfall now. Okay, I've let it go for quite some time. <laughs> the FPS is getting pretty bad. Oh, what the hell? Let's make the fireball a little bit bigger. All right, hold on. I got multiple attempts at like two FPS. I think we're at a point now where it takes like 20 seconds for the fireball to even go off once it hits, once it impacts something. I never heard my computer groan before. This is new and exciting. <laughs> On the plus side, you get to see a bunch of sheep get immolated in super slow motion. <laughs> I like to be right in the thick of things while all hell is breaking loose. You know, literally hell is breaking loose. Replacing all of the rocks in the area with TNT seems like a really good idea. In this instance, I'm sure all the sheep will agree. <laughs> Every once in a while, across the screen, you see just a sheep giblet fly. <laughs> Oh, Minecraft. 
You do stuff I never knew I needed or wanted. See that giant crater filled with cheap corpses? That's when you know that Greystill Plays was here. Hello, townsfolk. I'm glad that you're here. I need to do some testing. I wanted to make something that would cause the apocalypse. This should do it. Real quick, I figure I'd ask, you boys like llamas? <laughs> all right, now that we have an absurdly large number of llamas, all we need is a nuke in order to clean all this up. The llama breeding got way out of control. <laughs> Nicholas Cage can't have that. In case you were wondering, all these llamas have names. Well, if this works appropriately, it should cause the apocalypse and stop the llamas from taking over. May God have mercy on all your souls. Okay. So far, so good. Ah. Uh, that's the urine stream I was hoping for. <laughs> right about here. Is when you start getting about 2 FPS. Obviously, the only thing I can make this better is to throw a fireball into the mix. If I can, I think we're getting to the point where I can't play anymore. Oh, no. Oh, God. <laughs> Never have so many llamas been liquefied all at once. Hold on, there's a few left. I can fix this. There we go. Sorry, guys. You gotta take one for the team! <laughs> that- that dust there is actually their souls leaving their body. If it's any consolation, I- I wasn't expecting to burn all these houses down of yours. It just kinda... Alright, you know what? Actually, yeah, here, let's just- let's just call it what it is. Bye. This guy down here is like, I outsmarted you, Gray. I'm the only one not burning to death. If anyone's looking for like a new wallet or something, we got leather on the cheap right now. I really wanted to know what would happen if I summoned in infinite sheep on top of infinite fireworks. All they are is born to die. I'm not gonna lie. I've, I've ended a lot of lives in Universe Sandbox 2. Minecraft may end up being a close second. <laughs> What's amazing? is <laughs> when you get below it <laughs> and all the bodies <laughs> are raining down. Look at the shower of sheep steaks and skins. <laughs> this one sheep, he landed on this area over here. He's judging me so hard right now. Where else could you come to get a rain of sheep falling on top of a machine gun firework there? Are y'all happy? You get to survive for a short time? You know what? I think we need some more of these. All right, what's what's better than one machine gun firework? It's two machine gun fireworks. <laughs> I think this is the most colorful death that a sheep has ever had in Minecraft. After about four full minutes of a sheep rain tornado, uh, we're only down to 6 FPS. Yeah, 3 is definitely the magical number that'll make sure that no one gets to leave the platform alive. <laughs> that right there is the face of a million regrets. Oh, what the hell just happened? <laughs> the sheep are redoubling their efforts in order to attempt to get off the top of the, the platform. <laughs> okay, it's time to legitimately build something. I think I have a way for us to make a sheep volcano a sheep pressure washer and essentially a sheep flamethrower. Hold on. This ledge is actually perfect. This way all the other woodland animals get to see this horror. I really never thought I would be repeatedly ending the world with sheep, but that's how we do here in Minecraft. Hey, just FYI down there, you might want to move because you're going to be inside of the splash zone. All right, first things first, we need to turn on the high pressure stream of sheep. All right, there we go. Now all the sheep are dying immediately <laughs> because they're inside the blocks. But I think once we go ahead and release one side here. <laughs> it's 
just a volcano. It's just a volcanic stream of sheep. Hold on. Let me see if I get it so that the stream comes out more than one direction. There we go. <laughs> Look at the distance we get on that one. It's everything I hoped for. All right, hold on. Now to turn it into a flamethrower. I'm, I'm sorry. I really... <laughs> there we go. Got to get that flame spewing out two different sides. I'm going to tell you. It doesn't take too long for the game to become completely unplayable when this happens. <laughs> there we go. I think the only thing that the world needed was to have all the air turned into TNT momentarily. I hope that this clears all this up because I can't really see what's going on anyway. Well, since I don't hear the screams of the sheep anymore and all I can see is explosions, I think that we fixed it. Oh yeah, frame rates coming back and everything. Oh, there was one sheep that I thought was gonna make it over here, but he didn't. It's like a Michael Bay film. Explosions keep happening for no reason. It's just like the game thinks that, it, there you go. The game felt like there needed more explosions. Hey, Horace, remember when I talked about the splash zone? Yeah, well, we did it. My goal was to make the game unplayable repeatedly. I never thought I would get the opportunity to make a sheep pressure washer that also shot fire, but I'm really glad I did. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Minecraft. Till next time, <laughs> stay foxy and much love. <laughs>